What's going on everyone? So just trying to follow up from the article perspective on the mob attack on a allegedly Quran burning in Pakistan. A tourist accused of blasphemy killed by a mob in Pakistan from our the BBC News, which came out what's today's date? Uh, yesterday, June 21st. Tourist has been dragged from a police station and killed by a mob in northwest Pakistan after being accused of blasphemy. Police have been attempting to protect the man from a large group in the town of Madian, a town in Swat district. Mob had gathered after the man was accused of desecrating the Quran. Here we go. They love bringing the desecrating of the Quran. It is such a holy book with so many bipolar uh, content on it. Islam's holy book on Thursday. Yeah, nothing holy about it with their behavior. Lynchings are not uncommon after an accusation of blasphemy which is punishable by death in Pakistan. A Christian man was attacked last month after being accused of burning pages of the Quran, dying shortly afterwards. Another false allegation that never happened. As I connected with people that's around from that area. Video of this latest incident has prompted outrage on social media in Pakistan. Footage shows the man's body being paraded through the streets and then set alight. Police confirmed the tourists had been torched and some 11 people were injured in the incident. Malankan Division Regional Police Chief Mohammed Ali Gand Gandapur accused the local mosque of encouraging people to gather after police first rescued the man who was reportedly visiting the Swat Valley, a popular destination in summer. He told Reuters news agency that eight officers were among the injured. Dr. Zaidullah, police officer in the Salah region, told BBC Urdu. Oh, but as usual, made a concerted effort to clear block roads to disperse the angry crowds of people on Thursday night. Police say they have open case against hundreds of people involved in the incident. Some as young as 13 local authorities have since deployed additional security forces to the region. According to the BBC Urdu, hotels and towns had been full but tourists were now scrambling to leave. What is the, how does the tourist get a hand of a Quran? Now I hear this guy is a Muslim, um, which I will have to verify, I think it is, yeah. Just visiting locally in the area on vacation. Religion fueled violence in Pakistan has risen since the country made blasphemy, made a crime under a 19th century law brought in, brought in by the British punishable by the death in the late in the 80s even unfounded accusation can incite protests and mob violence against alleged perpetrators human rights critics have long argued that minorities are often the target of accusation 96 percent of Pakistan population is Muslim other countries including Iran Brunei Mauritania uh, also impose capital punishment for insulting a religion what a bunch of weak crybabies and knowing that that Islam can lie, yes, they can lie for anything, especially if you're a non-Muslim, uh, to do what they have to do to genocide and make Islam the number bigger. Now, even among their own people, if it's something they see their own fellow Muslims do something like that, say something wrongful word to the Quran, throw it in a dirty spot then you could be accused like a kafir so let me show you this book from their Muslim source disrespect to the Quran is an act of kufar kafir should pun uh, kafir should be punished by death from the book of Al Nawawi from under the Kitab Al Majmu uh, Shar Al uh, Muhadad Muslims have unanimously agreed that it is obligatory to protect and honor the Quran. Our scholars and others said that if a Muslim throws the Quran in a dirty place, the one who does so becomes a disbeliever, kafir, from Al Tibyan, uh, Fi Adab Hamlat, from Al Quran, page 191. The Muslim's Ummah has unanim unanimously ag agreed that the Quran must be 
revere, uh, revere, exalted, and protected at all circumstances. They have also agreed that whoever belittles the Quran or any part of it or the Mus'haf or throws it in a dirty place or denies any of its rules or news uh, or rejects what it confirms or confirms what it rejects or doubt any part of it while knowing its meaning has committed disbelief. We know the meaning. It's a false book. And we have the right to be critical about it. And th this is how they do things, you know. The <laughs> Religion of peace. How does that align together when you're accusing people? This is why I say Muslims' way of interpretation is always like backward. Oh, no, 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 we're religious, please. That, they're not real Muslims. But you're always constantly in the news. And we see it in your sources of these behavior. This madman from Arabia named Muhammad, or should we call him by his real name, Qatam, or what, as many of the Jews call him, Abu Qasim. Either this character was created, all in competition with other religions around. But this is just beyond, beyond demonic, no human rights, that this, is, this kind of religion should not even, even be a religion. How do you supposed to say you bring people to the truth, even if somebody is doing something stupid? People will say things about the Bible. People will say things about the Jesus, about Jesus. But am I going to go on a rampage and attack them? No, because God reminds us that it is a spiritual warfare. How you win them is by love, because what you do, you're convicting them. It'll convict their hearts, and it'll make them think if what they said is from God or not. Because God is dealing with everyone. And I know that happened to me. As I seen by their character. And the more you dive into the to this source. You will see man. It's just. This is a problem to all worldwide. And everyone needs to speak up. And call them out. Stop worrying about hurting their feeling. They can cry all day. All they want. Because eventually it will lead them. To take a deep dive into the book. I'm sure some of it would. Some of them you will find ignorance. That's just so hard hearted. That they don't want to even look into it. So it's a sad situation. And we're still not getting the full gist about. If there was a Quran burning. Blasphemy against the Quran. How can. Really. And you want people to respect this religion. You want people to go on vacation to these countries. That's why I say, why would I want to pay my money to these people if they're not going to be honest with their own source? That's why from this moment, no matter what, if they're not going to be honest, they're not going to call out on their own Muslims that persecute and genocide Christians, Hindus, other places under their control. Don't do business with them. Don't even spend your money in these establishments. I'm not going to give my money if they're going to take the money that they earn and they use it against us probably send some money back home to the family to do what they gotta do everybody needs to educate themselves even liberals even if you, you may not like to believe in God but maybe you need to or at least perhaps understand these people what their mindset is coming from because I will tell you right now Islam is not just their only just a religion it is their way of life. It is politics. It's everything all in one. And you have no free will. It's either their way or be taken out. Like, share it, keep passing along, keep growing in knowledge, never back down from the truth. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care and God bless.